Hello everybody and welcome back to Challington Farm. As you can see, the field has been completed. The worker continued doing the ploughing at the end of the previous episode and it's all done. So I, I think it took about an hour and about an hour in total. Uh, it's not too bad really considering it's not a it's not a massive plough. It's not bad. Uh, but the good thing is it means that we're now going to get a bonus from the field since it has been ploughed. Uh, the next thing we need to do is well ideally spread lime. But I think, well, I have already started to put the the carrots in the ground. I think we will, yeah, we'll, we'll put the lime on, and then we can complete the field by planting the carrots. Now today is actually going to be quite a good day for us because we are going to be hopefully repaying the loan. If you watched the previous episode, you'll have seen that I took out that very small loan. I think it was five or ten thousand pounds. Um, but yeah, the pit here is 99% fermented, meaning very soon, in just a few minutes time, we're going to be able to take the cover off and we'll be able to get it put into the trailer and taken over to the BGA and as you'll most likely know, silage in this game is worth a lot of money, it's really good. Uh, so yes, that is going to allow us to repay the loan and get back on track financially. Hmm, We do have a front way here, maybe we should take it off put it up here. Mustn't forget I've put it here though. And we'll do the lime spreading with the T4. The very capable little tractor. I'm not sure if it should be able to do some of the things that I do with it, but <laughs> it doesn't seem to have a problem overall. It couldn't run the planter. But that was really pushing it. Right, so yeah, it, it looks like I haven't even done this. It's Maybe the plough went over it again. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to be planting the whole field once the lime has been applied. Just need to get this out of the way. So that is the fertiliser hopper. And that is the planter. I think if I just position it over here somewhere, it should be fine. Okay. So yes, we have... The T4, the fertilizer spreader or lime spreaders at the top here. It should already have some lime in it, and as I've been told many times before, uh, there is actually a lime fill point at the farm. Uh, but we do have two bags of lime left, so we won't necessarily have to buy any. I'm hoping we won't have to. Although we only have 7% in there, so yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how much we have in the bags. The bags are not necessarily full. Get off. Get off. I've detached that. <laughs> That's weird. Bag lifter. Let's go and lift some bags. Yeah, that's probably on 100% now. When I started recording it was showing 99%. Okay, it looks like one of these bags is actually sitting at a funny angle yeah it might be enough although it's not a huge field it's not what I would call small it's just a nice field right so uh, come on there we go second bag Yeah, so they were full. Good. Yeah, well, I would be surprised if it's not enough, but I know it does consume it fairly quickly. And the JCB's next job will be loading the trailer. Pop it back in this shed. So I really do want to move away from this field today. If we can get it all wrapped up, it would be great, because I have spent many episodes in it. That is the issue though, when you're going to go and uh, turn it from a grass field, which hasn't even been cut yet, to a field which is growing with carrots. Or a field which is growing carrots. Um, yeah, because we have to go through the procedure of cutting it, tedding it several times, rowing it, baling it, and then of course ploughing and all that sort of stuff. Everything we're going to do today. Yeah, I shouldn't really go this way, but it is quite a good cut through. 
it works. <laughs> it's good enough. So overall we are 65% full. I'm intrigued to see what our bank account balance is going to be by the end of this episode. Because we are going to rest once all the silage has been sold. It should be good. I really hope it's good. Because I do feel to have put quite a bit of effort into uh, into what we've been doing so far. So I think we do deserve to have more than maybe 15 or 20 thousand pounds. And yeah, we do loads of lime spreading. This series so far feels to have been mostly lime spreading. But it has to be done. We have to get the right pH, otherwise we're going to have the the crops not thriving. They need, they need to be doing as, as well as they can be. How will the T4 cope going uphill with this? Uh, not great, and that is that is consuming more than we probably should be because we're going so slow. I will go across the top. I will time lapse this job because it's a job which we've seen many times before and we have so much other stuff to do in this episode. So uh, yeah, we, we should be getting on fine. Just need to avoid going up the very steep hillside. We'll go like this. Right, I think I bought the right amount of lime. We have a bit left. Which is good, because we're going to need it in another field that we buy in the future. Uh, so yeah, 21%. Let's get back to the farmyard, and then we can start loading the trailer. We'll leave the carrot planter to get on. It actually won't take too long. It's showing just less than 12 minutes, so probably about 15. So you may ask the question, when are we going to buy a new tractor? It's going to come down to the amount of money that we get today, because I do feel that we need another tractor, sort of halfway between this one and the Fent. Uh, obviously ideally we'd want to go bigger than the Fent, but that's not really going to be an option unless we leased it. It's possible, yeah it is possible, but it would be um, a, a long term lease sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see exactly how much money we do make, but I'm quite hopeful it's going to be enough to really uh, expand our machinery. Because not forgetting, we haven't actually harvested anything yet, it's just the grass field. All the money today is going to be from the grass. Uh, we've got the uh, the alfalfa, we have spelt, we're going to have the carrots, although the carrots are going to have a bit of expense since we have to uh, lease the harvester. But yeah, the harvester is a, a funny one because we, I think we use the same machine for several different crops and probably for that one field it's actually not even going to turn a profit. Uh, but if we had other fields as well, oh, well, is he not ready? 99% still. Yeah, if we had other fields as well, we can harvest more. So obviously that, that leasing fee is going to be spread across several fields. Uh, okay, so yeah, 99%. Is it stuck on 99%? Oh, there we go, good. It, it, yeah, it's like when you're running a task on your computer and it gets stuck on 100% for ages. Finally frees off. And that's only open one side. Do we have to open both? Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. So that is... Yeah, 
That is certainly grass fermented, as you can see. Which I would imagine is priced the same as fermented silage. We'll take a look. Ah, oh, actually, while I'm here, alfalfa fermented, because that's what I'm looking to do. 420 at the biogas plant. I think that is a, a static price. I don't think it changes. Sort of locked in. Uh, grass fermented is also 420. So yes, I think unless we're feeding it to the animals or something, there'd be no point in doing hay, alfalfa hay. We would always ferment it. And it doesn't really take that much work. In fact, it's easier. We, we don't even have to tell it that much. Just the once, I think. So, if it's 420 per 1,000 litres, uh, that equates to a lot of money. <laughs> uh, we had, what was it, about 90,000 litres here in total. This is good. This is going to really help. And we are going to sell everything. There's no need to keep anything at this stage. I want to buy the sheep and I want to buy some cows. Sheep first, because they're easier. And then when we have more money for the equipment, we'll be able to get some cows. So I will continue loading this, and once it's full, we will head over to the BGA, which is not too far from here. We went there in the previous episode. It's near the train line, if that helps. <laughs> uh, it's, well, I'll show you on the map. That's why maps were invented. Yes, we're here. BGA is here, so we have to go around and under the bridge. Nice and simple. And as well, that is a big trailer. And the final bucket load for this load. We need to go and retrieve the seed. I actually already have some seed. It's at the store. The uh, the carrot planter has run out. It doesn't have a very high capacity because it's a planter instead of a drill. So I'm just trying to think of the best way of getting it. The JCB is the best way of bringing the entire pallet back, but maybe it's faster to drive the fence with the drill over there. I, I really don't know. Uh, although we could get the the dealership to put the uh, the pallet in the trailer, in this trailer, and bring the entire thing back. Bit of role play there. Yeah, I think that would work. Since we're pretty much going to be there anyway, we might as well pick it up with this. Oh, actually, it's only 98% full, but that is fine because there isn't enough to fill another trailer. The next load will be the final load, and it will likely only be about half full. That's a good view. No trains. But yeah, if you wait long enough, there'll be a steam train and the intercity train. So as we are uh, going this way, I think I will... Um, I might as well keep going this way. And then we'll come back the same way to pick up the seed. Nothing like a bit of back road speed. The fastest I could go is 41. It takes a bit of time to build up the speed. I'm just pleased that I have this lorry from the start, really. It's, it's going to be so useful. It already has been so useful. If I'd started with a small trailer, it would have been tough to do even this job, let alone casting at harvest. Right, okay, so yeah, Chillington Market Auctioneer, same place. This is a, a large industrial complex. The place we're going to is right around the back, as you'll probably know by now anyway. Oh no, it looks like it's shut. No! 
No. Please no. It's closed, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Let me in. Yep, it's gone past that time. Great. Oh no, that really is bad. Uh, maybe we could break in somehow. <laughs> so much for role playing. Um, yes, that is problematic. That really is problematic. Well, all we can do is wait. I'm going to have to get into the JCB and we will bring that pallet of seed back. I'll time lapse it because it's not going to be fast with this. Uh, oh, we'll have to buy a pallet for it because it works. I don't think we have one. Better turn the beacon off too. The beacons. Yeah, we have a back lift, we have the bail fork, we have buckets, but we don't yet have a pallet fork as far as I'm aware, so we'll have to get one. I will see you when we're back at the field. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Okay then, see you in the morning. <laughs> we'll just camp out here. Wow, I was expecting to uh, be hit with a massive bill, forgetting that I'd already sold some stuff over the BGA. So we have plus 14,000. So as it turns out, there wasn't really a rush at all. That's great. Okay, it's just going to be a little bit laggy for a second. There we go, it's better. Um, Yes, if you pass quite a bit of time with seasons, it does seem to lag for a few seconds as it sorts itself out. So, telehandlers, there should be a pallet fork in the JCB pack. A box tipper. Pallet fork. Yes, we don't own one. So, standard fork. Fork extensions, that could be quite useful. We'll have to see. I can always uh, configure it in the future and change it to a standard fork. But the idea of having a longer fork seems beneficial. It's not super long. I think that'd be good. So let's finally get that um, that carrot planter refilled. Can you adjust these? Ah, nice. Of course, it depends if I can actually get the. Uh, the fork through the gap. Interesting. Okay, I have just changed it back to a standard fork. I don't think the extension is for this. It must be for something else. So we can now get them onto there. We can take this back to the field. As you can see from before, it did only take 29%, so it's not going to take much to fill it. The, uh, the BJ will now have opened as well. So, as it turns out, I could just put it in the lorry. But anyway, this is more realistic. Nice relaxing drive back to the field. Beautiful day. And, of course, the leaves are fully out on the trees. Well, here we are. It's open. We're ready to tip. Hopefully there won't be an issue with tipping. If it just puts it in a big pile, we're going to have to bring the JCB over again. Um, yeah, it might do that. Oh, nice. So yeah, no money is going to come in today. It's going to be the next in-game day. But at least we now have some money. It, well, actually, yeah, I say that. If I was to repay the loan now, we'd probably have nothing again. But I will wait until we get the money from this, and then we'll pay the loan, and we'll be all happy. We'll be in a good place financially. Yep, so we have £10,000 out. 
we'll go and finish off the silage or the fermented grass and then that'll be everything to sell today the carrots have almost finished amazingly they've germinated so yeah sadly a small section of the field is behind but it will all catch up it'll be fine uh, shall I go this way might be faster Ooh, we've got some progress here as well. So it's quite a thin crop. Uh, which field was this? Field number three. Was that rye? Oh, no, linseed. The linseed crop. Yeah, I'm quite interested to do this. I don't think I've ever done linseed before. And, yeah, some people might notice that there was like a... Well, there is a, a line miss, but you can see that it did still drill it. We have the crop growing in between. I don't know why I didn't fully remove the lime, but there we go. It's just the way it is. Now, we don't actually have any more cultivation or drilling work to do, but we do have a, a huge amount of fertilising to do. None of these fields here have been done. The carrot field has been done, because the planter puts the fertiliser in at the same time. Uh, but yeah, these three are pretty bad. If you take a look at the, uh, the nitrogen map, Yep, that's a nice fiery colour. <laughs> not what it should be. Uh, that one doesn't show up for whatever reason. I'm not too sure. It must be because it was a grass field, but... Yeah, it doesn't show any kind of information, which is weird. Maybe it hasn't worked on a grass field? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to rent a self-propelled sprayer. We're going to apply liquid fertiliser and get it done quickly. I don't want to spend forever putting fertiliser on the field. I am hoping to make a start today. But let's just get this filled up. Oh look, the uh, the carrot planter has finished. Uh, so again, it has left some uh, some patches. I think actually the bigger patch won't have been planted. But yes, it, it, it doesn't matter too much. We are done. The carrots are growing. Our grass field is regrowing, and I think that is going to be permanent pasture. There's no point doing anything else to it. Uh, it's, it's fine as it is. But as soon as we do have the money, as I said, we'll be looking to get more land as well, uh, as well as the machinery. So, yeah, I want to expand fairly quickly, but we will be going further afield. Autumnwood farm has been highly requested. Okay, right, so. We're on the, a different side. This won't take too long. It's not the largest bucket ever, but it's good. It's fine. Uh, we're not really in a position to buy that really big bucket. I'm just grateful that we can afford a bucket. We didn't even buy it new, it's a, it's a used old bucket with all the paint flaking. Uh, but really, it does the job, so we just can't be too picky about it. And the final bucket load. Don't know how full the trailer is, it looks like it's about 70%. Good. So yes, we will get the self-propelled sprayer. I'm really hoping it's not too expensive, but yeah, these things don't come cheap. I'm expecting to pay several thousand pounds to uh, to lease it, and then we've got the cost of the fertilizer so maybe it is worth waiting a day wow that's 85 percent full yeah if we had to wait a day until the silage is sold i don't know we'll have to wait and see how much the uh, the sprayer actually is uh, there might be a cheaper one 
I did enable a few mods, so we'll have to take a look. But it has to be big. With our big fields out here, there's no point buying a small sprayer. Also, I don't know how many people have been uh, following Auction David's Facebook page, but his photos of Carmiston Farm, which is his next map, they'll, they'll blow you away. If you head over to Auction David's Facebook, there's a link down below. I guarantee you'll be impressed. It's impossible not to be. I think if we can get the sprayer today, I'm going to focus on just one field. Unless, of course, it ends up being that massive sprayer, in which case we'll do this field, uh, the linty field, and also the alfalfa field. Then we can leave the really big field for the next time. Yep, so in total, it has been, I think, roughly 90,000 litres. Which must be about 40 or 50,000 pounds. Oh no, the process is full. We're going to keep hitting the limit. I'm going to have to uh, speed up time a bit. I think 120 is the maximum it will process at. Oh no. Yeah, I thought if you went beyond 120 it just sort of confused it. Okay, so that is everything. We will leave it to it, and at midnight we will happily receive the payment. I just looked into the alfalfa field and it looks like it's ready. Or close to ready. I've left it too long. I'm sure it will still take a bit of fertiliser. So I will park this just here, keep it out of the way. We'll head into the self-propelled sprayer category and see what we've got. Okay, we have a, we have a free one. Free is good. I, I've obviously messed up. Uh, I've obviously changed the price before. That one is 9945. Crazy money. Okay, so we really need something like this size. I think we're going to have to go for this one. Yeah, probably the hardy. Uh, so, I won't do it today, since we can't afford it. Good grief. T that, that just shows that there is a fault in the renting system. It would never cost £25,000 to just initially rent something and then have a £10,000 fee per hour plus a £5,000 fee per day or roughly um, yes that is uh, quite crazy okay well we'll use this one next time we'll think of a reasonable fee like £5,000 and we will get cracking with that but that will be on Wednesday we'll get all of those fields done and then from there we just have to wait until it's time to cut the alfalfa, which I think is imminent. I will just show you the field. Yeah, so we have the spelt field here. And then we have the alfalfa field in the middle. It's got flowers. Looks nice. I don't think it is ready yet, so we should be able to put some fertilizer on it. And then, as I've already shown you, what is that doing there? Oh, it must have fallen off my drill. That needs to be returned. Whoa. For now, we'll just put it to the edge. Otherwise, the combine is going to go over it. There we go. And yeah, anyway, so the uh, the Lindsay field. So it's all going well. I love the alfalfa. It looks great. looks really amazing. Uh, especially with that sky and that backdrop. Beautiful. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.